Hi, Hi, I'm Julia. Nice to meet you, Julia. Nice to meet you. How are you today? Come on in. Watch your head. Oh, okay. You can take the comfy seat. Duck roll low. There you go. Well, Have you ever been you. in a van like this before? You know, not that I'm aware of or was conscious for, sure. Oh, why? You know. Okay, well, that's a good answer. <laughs> that's a good answer. How are you today? I'm very good. How are you? Good. So, I've had this van for a really long time, like oh. over almost 20 years, and cool. it's been such a place of comfort and chill and ease, and I felt like it was the right time in our world to sort of talk to people in here and, like, see what people had to say and offer them a place to <laughs> chill and see if I could help them with their problems. So, do you have any problems, like, big or small? or anything like uh, if you were going to a therapist that you would want to talk about? That is a long list. It's a long uh, list. Okay, okay, I'll take one. <laughs> take one thing. You know, you get to a point in your life where you want to know what you're going to be when you grow up and you're allegedly already grown up. So that's that's always fun. And how are you like dealing with that specifically? You know, I've been in a job for 10 years and it seems like a career, but it's definitely not where I thought I was going to be. So I'm trying to just explore like what I can do that's more creative, more fun. I always thought I'd do something a little more exciting. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> so just you know, just getting ideas on how to how to do that. I think a lot of people feel, I mean myself included, like feel like you're sort of constantly trying to reinvent yourself. Absolutely. And also, new decades happen, and it makes you reflect on where are you and where did you think you would be and right. I find sort of I get to this feeling sometimes where I think like is it too late? Do right. you ever feel like that? I tell myself not to feel like that. Yeah, no, like you shouldn't, <laughs> but you do. It's, it feels like there are some ideas out there that like if you're not into this by such and such a time then whew, forget it. Like, right. Well, I know I get inspired by the stories. I know I've heard of people who, when they're you know over 50, they go to medical school and they become right. a doctor by the time they're 60. Right. But which seems old, but then you're practicing doctor from the time you're 60 till you're 80, and yeah. and that's 20 years is a long time. It so is. time plays this trick, you know. Like we feel like right. a lot of time's gone by, and maybe it's too late or we're too old. But then at the same time, there really is time left. There's like definitely a fear of like taking that chance, taking that a leap. A fear of taking the leap. Yeah, because right. you feel like, well, you're at this point, and if you do take that leap, you're going to lose all the stuff you've built. Right. And so it's like, do I do what I did in my 20s and just jump off a cliff or or not? It's it's hard. Where do you look for your advice? Um, friends, family. Not so much family as much. <laughs> <laughs> It's hard because they like just want you to be like safe and secure, and you're kind of like I want to help you be safe and secure. So they're part of part they're of why you're part of the problem. Yeah, just say part it. They're, part of, the they're part of the problem. No. Part of the problem. I feel like okay. So I have all these books. I love vintage books. Anyways, I have this yeah. Happiness Begins Before Breakfast. But I feel like I just read this thing about fears. Okay, by avoiding foolish strife and conquering your fears, you'll add years to your life and life to your years. Definitely. So there, it's about conquering your fears. So I, you got to go for it. Okay, so <laughs> I have this little game okay. that I want to play. Let's do it. We're going to spin this wheel. There's friends, health, religion, uh, desperate. The time you felt the most desperate or Ooh. something you feel really desperate about. Okay. Um, goals, news, sex, and 007. And I'll tell you what 007 is if you land on it. And then we're going to give ourselves three minutes. Okay. And we're going to talk about that. You're going to tell me what you think about it. Okay. okay. So you spin the wheel. She's spinning the wheel. She's spinning the wheel. <laughs> What's it coming up on? Goals. Oh, how appropriate. Okay. All right. Three minutes. Here we go. Three minutes. Tell me about your goals. Oh, my gosh. I feel like my goals are to be more creatively successful. I. Okay, so my goal right now, short term, um, start an Etsy shop, sell some like oh, cool designs that I like to do, okay. things like that. That's like a super short term goal. And then long term, it's sad to say. Okay, Maybe. you can't have a sad oh, yeah, yeah, to no, say no, goal. No, 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 no. There's no <laughs> way I'm letting you get away with starting my long term goal is sad to say. You just gotta get up, you okay. turn around three times, and then you take it back or whatever. Okay, I'm doing that. Turning around three times. Okay, she's taking it back. My long term goal, faced with positivity, is. Okay. Uh, figure out my relationship. Okay. 
that's it's, uh, it was, I mean, it's a seven seven years off a non relationship, so that's what's kind of sad to say. I still have to figure it out, and it's been well beyond that point. <laughs> okay. Figuring it out. Well, the hardest thing is just being honest with yourself, right? Isn't it? For it's, sure. it's more about you, like. Yes. Oh, it's always and about yourself. And once you are willing to own what you really want yep. and what is really right for you, then you can make those decisions. Yeah, that's another cliff. Ah! <laughs> That's another spin. That's what Wait, if we landed on sex, or let's see, we're like, did we have? Oh, we did land on sex. Did we? Oh, should oh we? God, oh my God, wait, spinning. We landed on sex. Okay, three minutes about sex. Oh I want to hear God. about that. No, I wa I always want to talk about sex. Okay. Okay. So tell me something about sex. You have three minutes. Um, I definitely feel like people should be way less crazy about sex. Oh you my God. You mean crazy like to want to have it? Scared or just or, like, no, scared crazy. or like unable to talk about it or like, I'm not saying you should like bring it up in every conversation because that's like a whole nother thing. People don't need to necessarily do that. But like, I always am like, if someone wants to talk to me about it, I'm, even if it likes oh, just creeps me out. I'm just like, no, please tell me because I cannot stand people not feeling comfortable. Like being able to ask questions, that's the worst thing. Did you grow up not talking about sex? Or, uh, or, because I think I you mean, go- This is gonna be like public that you're gonna find out, but I, I, it was yes and no. Like my family has a little weird, my, my biological dad has like, uh, he ran stores that were kind of sexually oh, oriented. Oh, okay. um, so it was like I saw a lot, but right. I didn't know what the hell I was seeing. Was saying, so it was okay. kind of like a weird dichotomy, like I didn't really want to talk about it. Um, so then I got better at talking about it with people because of that. I was like, well, I should, I should not like make people feel like I did where I was like, okay, I know too much, but I don't know anything about what I know. Right. And that's what I think happens now. Like when you're in the world today, like there's so many kids who are like, oh, I know it. And you're like, they're oh, watching no, you're porn. Right. They're watching porn you're on like, the internet. Is yeah. that really what sex is? Right. And that that actually is a big problem that kids that's are huge. growing up watching porn and thinking that's what sex is. Yeah. And then they don't know enough or have the resource to, to talk to somebody about it to even know if that's what it actually exactly. is. Exactly. I mean, that's a movie. That's a that's not what sex is. Right. But I I grew up not talking about sex okay. at all. And so with my daughter, who's now 20, mm -hmm. I mean, we're, I, sometimes I even just, ha I, I can't even believe myself. Like I am so calm, I talk about everything. You have and to. sometimes people think talking about it is the same as giving permission or the same as, sure. and I don't, especially when you have a young right. person and oh, people sure. are all over the map on like, abstinence you know and and when is that realistic when is that not realistic right. you know what I'm you know what I'm oh, saying I totally like sending your yeah. child off to college thinking they're not gonna have sex at college like like that's but if you don't talk yeah. about it maybe you're keeping them from doing it yeah. which is and wrong just not. <laughs> um, right so so yeah. it seems better to talk about it and but so I agree with you and Ava. that's why you should just be honest with people and especially if you find out like afterwards you're like this was not for me like so what that's good now you know failure or a mistake um, is really just a learning opportunity you know and Absolutely. and until you make them you're not gonna know what's on the other side of it. So if you if you don't do anything, you're never gonna learn from your mistakes or your failure. If you don't try anything that's sure. out of your wheelhouse, not that I'm recommending threesomes. No, no, no. <laughs> I and can't, honestly, I can't. if it's not your wheelhouse, then say it. This is never gonna be, I don't even need to try I'm pretty it. sure it's not gonna be my wheelhouse. Okay, well, thank you so much. Sure. I'm not sure I offered you any good advice. You essentially told me to jump off the cliff. So, I mean, you know, if it goes badly, I just blame you, right? Uh, sure. That, I'm, I'm happy to. I'm, hap I'm happy to take that. I do think life is too short to not follow your dreams. I agree. So if I had to pick, I would say jump off the cliff. All right. All right. Nice to meet you. So nice Thank to meet you so you much. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Ah, uh, thanks for being on van therapy. Oh, no problem. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, somebody help her with her mic. <laughs> That's true. Somebody help her. <laughs> <laughs>